Alexander Heyer, Nicholas Budimlik. Green flags in the air here for the Aska 500. Gonna be a long one. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be an even start there, but Ryan Arnold falling back into the clutches of Chris Lilly here. We'll see if those CLD guys can get together. There's a lot of them here in this field, and if they can get together, we're gonna be looking forward to some awesome teamwork here at the front. Incredible save by Thurston. That causes a big checkup. Martinez has nowhere to go. He runs into the back of Inman. Inman door slams Budimlik into the wall. He goes, and he goes spinning around around the field. Look at Roldan sideways through the infield trying to avoid this incident. And I think everybody made it through besides from Inman. And what a surprise, it was Roll Don who made it three wide in the first place. He's been doing it all the time. He has that 77 of Harrison helping him along. And even though there's only two of them in the middle, they're making it work. Here comes Lily coming into the fray now in the middle. Beautiful. beautiful. Oh, look at this. They're trying, oh, they tried to abandon ship there on Thurston. It did help a little bit, but Martinez is going to get right back behind him. Now Thurston's got to work for it to get back up to the front. One thing to look at is Zacharak Cartledge. He was not in the front all day, and look, he's up into basically fighting for third, and well now fourth, but he's he's up there. He's he's saying hello everyone. I'm here to fight with you all, and that's also the same same story for the. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to clear my throat. Uh, Ethan Harrison up there in the 77. They're they're both been chilling in the midfield, and now they're making the push to front. Here comes Harrison with a push to uh, Collins, and they're going to try. Never mind, Collins is going to ditch him for. Tighter. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, the bottom is definitely where you want to be if you want to control it. But those runs that you get on the outside are so, so good. You're able to take the lead from it. And how about Harrison moving up to the lead? And what a surprise. He has a push there from Thurston. It would be very interesting to watch as everyone moves to avoid. Are they still going to pit with those left cars? Here, yep, there yes, they come. There we go. Here we go. Oh, a bunch of cars and two. Oh, well, Reckon! Spin. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they reckon here. Th that's everybody. The 59's involved, the 48, the 82, that's Arnold. They're all involved in that one. Oh, it's the 4 and the 09. The 68 of Andres gets involved in it as well. Everybody blowing through the pits trying to avoid the incident. Here comes the 71 of Collins. He's coming in now. And the 6 is blowing through it. That's Hankins. Everybody locking up, coming to pit road. And yeah, nobody, pa nobody practiced pit entry. Everyone's blowing through their box. Yeah, Coach Maybe just going to keep getting carried around the track. He's going to go until he can't go anymore. Yeah, really fortunate. Yeah, really fortunate that he got picked up by these guys because he's probably going to be gaining a lot of time. He's setting himself long-term here for the finish. At this rate, you know, he could probably make it without stopping again. Oh, they're bunching up a little bit. Cook's still in the lead. I didn't expect this. He's going to oh, four wide. Getting oh, around the slower oh. traffic. Wow. Did you oh, see that, Cook? God. Cook's going to hold on to it. He used the other lap cars as a pick. Forced Hyder to run that singular line. Cook with the ultimate strategy. He has more fuel, and he has better Three track lines. position. God. Some, something's got to be done about those lap cars. They should not have been up there. They should have been down low. Collins to the lead. He comes down, blocks Cook. Now Harrison with the push from Pew. Is Harrison going to come over as many typically do? No. But instead, Look at Pew he go. Leaves him out. Wow, Pew is going to go for the lead here in the Aska 500. Big bump there from Lily. Gets Harrison a little ooh, sideways. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How that, did he hold on to it? That was close. Lily's these guys have been just on Razor's edge all race long. I can't believe it. Lily did a good job right there of keeping it on the bumper there. But look at this. Pew to the lead here in the Aska 500. This is the first time he's been up front here tonight. We saw him up front the clash a little bit, but he hit the wall, got some damage, and he fell back. Heider struggling right now is because he's stuck on the bottom because of Cook. Oh! oh, oh, oh there goes Bomar! Bomar goes around! Thurston went for a gap that just wasn't there. And that's going to be a caution in this race has turned on its head from a fuel-saving race, and now I think we're going to start seeing full aggression being displayed here at the Aska 500. James Balmar goes around, and immediately, you see, he goes for that gap. The 20 attempts to block. Yeah, I mean, Thurston just runs him over. There isn't really much else to it. The energy is building here at Daytona International Speedway. You can see the CLD cars are coming on the outside. That's right. That's Heiner, Roldan, and Lily on the top. Nope, doesn't work. Lily seems to be ditching. 
It's not gonna work. I think they're gonna fall back. Try and slide back. But what if Roldan dishes him? It looks like it. Roldan will not dish. Huge push. Harrison goes up top. We got three wide for the lead. I think Collins wanted to, but Harrison got to it first. Here we go. Three wide. Oh my goodness! Three wide here at Daytona International Speedway. Pew on the bottom. Thurst in the middle. Harrison up top. This is Aska racing. That's oh my chilly. God, my goodness! So How okay, did he okay. call and save that car? They're still running into each other around the track down the back. Hang on, later. We still got way to go. That's right. But what a great move! Nearly shut the door on Pew. Oh my back God. to the bottom. That was incredible stuff. Now, there goes Thurston up top with no help. Momentum from him. Three wide for third. OJC making contact with it. Harrison across the fucking trial. Well, holy shit. <laughs> oh, how could they holding on? This is incredible. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is an art. Hyder doing an incredible job. Far from the middle of the pack to the lead. Pew holding on in second. How did Shybinski get up here to third? Now Pew goes up high. Blocks Harrison. Pew to the lead. Oh. Ah, oh, there goes OJC. It's the big one at Daytona. Oh my god. We were waiting for that to happen. Wait, is it still green? There, caution's no, out, and that was like, waiting to happen. Man. Then ran into the back of him, because that's the only thing you can do in that situation. And then he got squeezed uh, after that, because he, you know, ricochets off the bump, and the two of Chase Gibbons just hits him in the bumper. And it's just, it's just, there's nowhere for Owen to go, and he just gets turned. Look at the field behind him, let's say, like, 8th through 14th. They're swerving. They're swerving. Now, good. Now, good Pugh's been leading one, now, Pugh's been leading one of these lanes for a while. Here we go. He goes to the outside. I was just about to ask, does Pew make a move to the outside? And he does, along with Thornton. And a magnificent block by Why'd he go low? He went low. He's giving it to Thurston. That was a magnificent block by Pew. And the mag I don't know why Pew did that. Pew just gave the lead to Thurston. He's planning. He's, he's long-term planning. Harrison's not planning. He's going. He eats high. He goes low contact. Oh, what a move to the inside by Harrison. Harris again. He is refusing to have anybody oh. in front of him. Here we go. This is where it goes downhill. Oh, They're all barging up. Go. There goes. Ryan Arnold off. goes around. Ryan Arnold Three in the fence. That's a 12-car pileup down in turn one. Carbajal's in it. Arnold's in it. Burns in it. The 086 is in it. On one side and physics make physics and that guy is going around. Coming Four to years. the restart zone, we're back green. Four laps to go in the Asuka 500. And that's a great jump there from Harrison. Pew's gonna push him. Top two already clear on the inside. Oh boy. Hyder oh, trying to make it three. Pew blocks. Harrison sideways. Oh, Harrison. How did he save it? How did all of them save it? Carlage. Carlage. Caution. There's a yellow. Caution's and out. My checkered. Or no, sorry. That's good. This could be overtime, ain't it? Overtime. Kian Milani is involved in this one. Another incident for the 086. So here's what happened. Okay, so pretty much what happened during the duels. There's a big checkup on the start, and surprise, surprise, Andres just piles into the 086. It's Harrison and Thurston leading him to the green flag here for hopefully two laps of incredible action. Coming to the restart zone. Green flag's back in the air. An incredible jump by the inside line. Pew is going to clear Thurston as they cross the start-finish line. Thurston immediately jumps to that inside. Now, what does Pew do? Does he stay on the back bumper? Or does he try to go up top? Oh, I don't know if you wait too long here. Top three on the bottom, single file. Pushing, there goes Martinez. Martinez goes around. There goes Eichelberry. Oh, there's another one. Now, there's your pick. There's a, yeah. Oh, upside down. Launching it to the air. The 59, upside down. Pretty Ga magical. Gavin Austin into the back of Martinez up ahead. The 48 gets loose. Then Jordan Herring gets hit. There goes the two of Eichelberry going around, and everybody on that bottom starts piling in. And there it is, right there. Nathan Smith slamming into the back of the 59. And that 59 gets ramped up into the air. An incredible crash there for the 59. It'll be Harrison, Pugh, 
Thurston, Heider, Cheery, Cook, Austin Herring, Collier, and Harper, your top 10. The second green-white checkered to the restart zone. Green flag is back in the air. Let's see if we can settle it. Oh, Pew gives the 77 a good push as they head off. Hold the record already in the trial. All right. Let's see if we can keep it green. Still green. Still green. Gavin oh. Austin being held back there on the outside line. People are training him on the inside. Who will make the first move? Here comes Pew. No, oh, they're blocking. They're blocking. And then here goes the 96. Uh oh. Thurston with a little bit of help from Cherry and from Cook. Harrison, with the Harrison block. blocks. Pew to the inside. Oh my goodness. And now, oh, there goes Harrison. Hang on to the boys. They're going to hold on to it. Can they make it back to the white? The top four in this race are fighting for the win. Here we go. Down the tri oval. White flag in the air. It's the last lap here around it's a race. Here we go. Will they make it back side by side, even in a turn one? Anyone can win still. It could be 12th place and they could win this. If You're not racing. lifting at this point. You do That's not lift. You do. Thurston peeking oh, high. He's gonna be squeezed. Oh. Harrison trying to block oh, the run by Thurston. Cherry pushing Thurston. It's a huge cannon on the top oh, side. The wreck in the back. Oh, Harrison blocks! There goes Harrison! Everyone's wrecking! It's the 110! The 110! Gavin Austin! Josh Harper versus Gavin Austin! Coming to the checkered flag! Gavin Austin's not gonna get it. Josh Harper is gonna be your Ask a 500 champion. Unfortunately, a lot of the guys that we saw up front weren't, make, weren't able to make it to the checkered flag, but Josh Harper was in the position at the right time. And he is now an Aska 500 champion. He's joining a lot of Aska greats like Chris Lilly, Michael Carbajal, and Jeremy Lewis. Here he comes to burn it down. I can't believe what we just saw. Oh, let's see. Well, first, the question is, can he burn it down? Yeah, I think he can burn it down just fine, Don. I think he can burn it down. He's uh, burning uh, something. He's, he's, <laughs> he's burning his engine. He's having, right. he's having, he's having, <laughs> a, he might be, he might be having a bit of a hard time here, but, uh, believe me, this is real celebration here.